Go. Good afternoon, my friends. Well, guess what we're cooking today? We're going to make a praline pumpkin pie right out of my cookbook, Rosalie Serving Country. And this is going to be so good for the holidays. You know, there's so many different ways to make a pumpkin pie for the holidays. But this one is like a custard, a texture really smooth in your mouth. You're just going to love it. And the nice thing about this pumpkin pie is that you can convert it over to sugar-free for all your diabetic friends. Well, we're going to start with Smucker's. And this happens to be sugar-free caramel syrup. We're going to add about three-fourths of a cup right here. And we're going to divide that and use another fourth cup for the topping. But for, for the entire pie, we're going to use the whole cup, the three-fourths cup. Okay? Then we're going to go right over here to our already made, so you don't have to slave over pie crust, our already made graham cracker pie crust. And we're going to put about three-fourths, about a half a cup of the caramel right down in there. Oh, doesn't that just look delicious? And spread it around. That's going to be our secret coating for beneath this pie. Then we're going to come right over here and work on the pumpkin. Libby's pumpkin. Can't beat that. All right. Just put that right in your bowl. And we're going to make this really good. Jazz it up a little bit with our spices. You know, pumpkin is really good for you, but quite bland without any spices. So we're just going to go ahead and set that there. We're going to add a fourth cup of brown sugar and a fourth cup of white sugar. Now, if you were using sugar-free, you just use that brown sugar twin and blend up. Sounds good to me. Then you want a teaspoon of cinnamon. Have to have cinnamon for pumpkin pie. No doubt about that. And there's our nice big teaspoon of cinnamon. A half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. Never did know what nutmeg really did, but sure spices stuff up. All right. And an eighth teaspoon of ground cloves. Mmm, can you think of the baked ham when you smell those cloves? Good in pumpkin pie, too. And how about a tablespoon of vanilla? Well, here we go. A full tablespoon. Always use pure vanilla. It's the best. Okay, well, let's just get our whisk and whisk this all together, and we'll see what we have. Wow, looks really good, doesn't it? Mmm, smells so good. We'll just scoop that over, and now we're going to work on the custard part. This is the easy part. You don't want to have to slave over these holiday dinners. So just get you some Janella. Whoop, I said that together. Jello and vanilla instant pudding. Put it right in there. Two of these three-fourths ounce cups. And let's add two cups of whole milk to that. And I uh, just have to find my milk. Now, where is it? Oh, there it is. Put it back here. Look how nice and rich that whole milk is. And don't fudge and try to, you can use the sugar or the fat free if you want to, but we're going to go ahead and use this right now. The whole milk really gives a nice texture. So we just mix that in there together. And we're going to add one and a half cups of the whipped topping to this pudding mixture. And that's about one and a half cups. Just mix that in. Doesn't that look good already, guys? Mm. Wow, I can't wait for you to taste this. You're going to love this pot. Bring over our pumpkin and just add it all together. Wow, doesn't that look good already? Now, it can't get much easier than this for a wonderful praline pumpkin pie. We're going to go ahead and put that in our pie pan. Just 
just keep whisking it until you get that pumpkin and the custard pudding all together. It has a beautiful texture now and pretty. This pie is on page 176 in my Rosalie Serving Country Cookbook. Just had to tell you guys that. Oh, doesn't that look delicious? Mm. Let's just grab back our spoon here and get the rest of that in there. Wow, that looks good. And I have a deep, I used a deep dish pie right here. Pie shell. Because you want to get all of that in there and it's going to take it up. Wow, look at that. Doesn't that look great? Okay. We're not done yet. All right. We're going to come over here and take our whipped topping, put it right on the top, spread that around. Wow, that looks good. And we'll just finish it up and drizzle some of that wonderful caramel right on the top. Now after this, just put, put it in the refrigerator for about two to three hours and it's going to be just right for your company. And right here in my skillet, I toasted some candy pecans. This is the easiest way. It takes two to three minutes. And uh, just, again, put that twin sugar or your splendor in there. I'd say about two teaspoons. And just put that on medium high for about three to four minutes. Look at that delicious pie. Oh, man, you've just got to come to my house for dinner Thursday. You're going to love it. Isn't that beautiful, guys? Now, how easy is that? I just can't believe we did it all in five minutes. And you can do the same. I think your desserts this holiday are going to be so fast. If you follow my book, Rosalie Serving Country. And I also put it in my newsletter this week. So just click on rosalieserving.com and get the newsletter too. Happy holidays.